show. Trump introduced his VP pick with a 45-minute psychotic episode into a microphone, <laughs> which might have been avoided if he'd spoken to Mike Pence first. The introduction I prefer is a little shorter. I'm a Christian, a conservative, and a Republican in that order. After that, I'm a joker, a smoker, <laughs> a midnight. Hey, where did everybody go? If picking the Apostle Mike was supposed to make evangelicals more excited about Trump, he needn't have bothered, as we found out at their recent convention in Colorado. Glory, glory, hallelujah. The Western Conservative Summit, an annual Denver gathering popular with hard right Christian conservatives. Also popular with them, today's headline speaker. Any evangelicals in the room? Any evangelicals? The evangelicals here loved him. This thrice married adulterous reality show star and failed casino impresario who mocked a disabled reporter and spoke of wanting to bang his own daughter and God only knows what he's doing in this picture with Andy Warhol and a horse. What do these Christians see in this lecherous lump of earwax? I believe truly that Trump is appointed by God to lead this nation back the direction it needs to go. Donald Trump is the answer to, to our prayers. We know that he is a godly man. So how are they able to overlook the faults of this tangerine Caligula? People are painting him as a bad person. He is not. You know, everyone has warts and wrinkles. We're all sinners. He's a sinner. We're a sinner. All of us are sinners, so... Wow! Church ladies are really different these days. Meanwhile, this young evangelical had his own novel theory. If someone has something to hide, they're going to do their best to present their best selves. So Trump is not presenting his best self. That means he probably doesn't have a whole lot to hide. He doesn't have skeletons in his closet. His behavior actually proves that he's a good person. Exactly. And what about this even younger evangelical? Just because you're Christian doesn't mean you have to go to church every Sunday. You don't have to go to Bible study every Wednesday. You don't have to have the Bible in your right hand at every moment of your life. And our main goal is to defeat Hillary Clinton. Ah, finally, an honest admission of why evangelicals support Trump straight from the mouth of this Jerry Falwell in blonde larval form, a child for whom I began to feel both a deep concern and a shameful desire to smack. I want to start this group, Children for Trump. Yeah, that will go over great in Slytherin. Anyways, back to Hillary. I personally believe that Hillary is evil. We know that Hillary Clinton is a known liar. We know that. Judge the morality of Donald Trump against the morality of the Clintons. So in terms of that, I would say Trump probably has better morality than the Clintons. How would you describe Donald Trump's values? Uh, I would say his values in one word. Like, how many words do I have? That's a loaded question. Maybe that was unfair. Let's lower the bar a little. Well, at least he doesn't have hookers. He goes off to an island. At least he actually has a decency to wed them. OK, great. Let's lower that bar even further. As long as he's not murdering people or, or you know, like killing babies, I'm sure he's, he's fine. Bar met. For all their moral gymnastics, the evangelical Trump supporters here were proud defenders of religious freedom and tolerance for all. We can't have one single religion across the whole country, because then uh, that abolishes the freedom of religion that is put into the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. Stirring words that beg one question. The proposed Muslim ban, how, what, what are your thoughts about that? I am completely for it. Yes, same here. So everyone in this country can say radical Islamic terrorism because it is radical Islamic terrorism. Except for our president. Except for the president, because he is a Muslim in that office, and that's part of the religion thing. We elected a Muslim to our, to our presidential office. Right, so why can't we elect Donald Trump? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, man, are we fucked. We'll be right back.